Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf. We're back at CRS 2018 with Kaylee Shore. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Look at you. Thank you. I absolutely adore your pants. Thank I'm you. I'm like, where did I you get them? Just got them from Epic Rain Boutique this morning. Um, okay. They hooked me up with a bunch of clothes for tour, and I couldn't wait to wear these, so oh I changed gosh. into them on my way over. <laughs> oh, that's real a good girl. Classy. No, I love it. I love it. I mean, hello, we do it. Thank when you. we're on the go, we got to do what we yep. got to do. Yep. Okay, so first I want to talk about Fight Like a Girl. Thank you. Because I love that yeah. title. I just love, that's a very empowering title to me. Thank you. Because I'm like, when people say, oh, you fight like a girl, what the heck is wrong with fighting like a girl? No, you need to fight like exactly. a girl, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And that was like kind of what we wanted to do with that song was, was take it back, you know? Yeah. Um, because, like, you know, someone says you fight like a girl, you're like, oh, yeah, like, you fight like a single mom, you fight like a breast cancer survivor, you fight like, you know, a woman who's fighting infertility. I mean, any of those right. things that I hear when people hear the song, like, I've gotten the craziest stories um, of these women who have just gone through so much domestic violence survivors. I mean, it's like, for that being my first single, I got so many reasons to, like, push through given, like, the audience response to that song. So, yeah, fighting like a girl, it's a good thing. And guys can do it, too. Absolutely. <laughs> but I, I love that. And I was so like, yes, thank you for that song. Thank you. Because I get so tired of hearing guys get made fun of, but you do, you hit like a girl, you fight like yeah. a girl. Because that is a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank that. you. <laughs> On behalf of all of us ladies out there, thank you. Um, but so your current single, I, I believe it's your current single, Two Hands? Two Hands, yeah. Okay. So tell me about this song and, and, and everything you have going on and what has made you, you know, decide to pursue this career? Just tell me everything yeah. about yourself right now. I'm like, well, how much time you got? I know. I'm like, no, because I, I adore you and you just have this energy and this vibe about you. Everybody needs to get to know you. She is so nice. No, I just, oh, I just, you're, you're just a good um, person. I can thank tell. you. Um, Two Hands is like the first love song I've ever written that I feel like is very true to the way that I fall in love, um, which isn't always black and white. You know, the, the beginning of a relationship with somebody, I mean, so many songs are like really positive about it and it's such a fun time, but it's also like, yo, here's all my baggage. Like, can you handle it? You know, right. like that's. Yeah. That's really what the beginning of a relationship is like, especially for me, you know, it's like, hey, I've been hurt before, if you're willing to put up with that, like, we can make something really great. And so that's what the song's about, and just finding a good man, and, um, you know, I write a lot of songs about the not-so-good men, and I was like, let's, like, have the good ones, like, have a chance to shine for a sec. Um, but I'm really proud of that song, and I wrote it with two of my really good friends, Emily Reed and Lena Stone, who are also fantastic artists. And, um, you know, it's we all met through Song Suffragettes, which is really where I started in Nashville. It's an all-females um, writer's showcase in Nashville. And, um, yeah, we met. We actually got the idea for Two Hands on the set of my last music video, He's Just Not That Into You. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, which we also all wrote together, and we were in the music video together. And, yeah, it's, it's been a really cool journey for that song. And, and the song Suffragettes, oh my gosh, you girls just rock. And I, last year at CMA Fest and the Radio Disney stuff, and oh, I, I, I got to meet some of you. Like, I got to meet Lacey Cavalier, and oh. she, she's she got a great voice, too. We, we absolutely love her. And she's just she's one of those females, too. We, I call her my people yeah. because she's she's just one of those girls. I'll wear a baseball cap and a dress, yeah. and I don't care. I know, exactly. She's, like, the cutest ever. Um, yeah, I just think that, like, that's a really cool thing that's happening with women right now is they're just finding who they are and owning it. And, like, Lacey's a great example of that. Um, and I think that's, that's something we've kind of learned from Song Suffragettes. Yeah. Now, do you see yourself being a part of the Song Suffragettes for, like, a long time? Because I, I imagine that the support within that group is pretty phenomenal. It's amazing. I mean, I played the very first show and um, helped help start it. I can't take a ton of credit. They'll probably lie and say, like, oh, Kaylee started. I'm like, no, no, no. Like, the production company behind it is amazing and they're so supportive. Um, but yeah, I played every Monday for like three years. And it's really just been recently that I've had to dial back because I'm on the road so much and so busy. Um, but I come back every time I'm in town. And I mean, the goal is to hopefully one day be big enough that I get to come back as a special guest. So there hopefully. you go. There you go. <laughs> so so what, are you, what are you working on now? I mean, I know you're busy and I know you've got a lot of stuff going on. And it's CRS. Oh my yeah. gosh, you're just doing interview after interview. Yeah. But after this, what are you going to do? Well, so I, um, I, okay, this has been my week. I just moved apartments. I moved into a new apartment. I love it. It has a valet trash system, so they come pick up your trash. Crazy. Yeah. This girl is like, holy cow, we are not in the sticks anymore. Right. <laughs> um, and so that's, so moving is, has been really fun. Now I have CRS, and then I leave Sunday for the CMT Next Women of Country Tour. I just released a record like two weeks ago called Awake. Um, so it's been a really busy season of life, but I'm really excited about it. And it's exactly where I would have wanted to be at 23 if you asked me at 12. Oh, see, I love that. Not many people can actually say that this is where 
they wanted to be at a certain age yeah. and that they're living it. Like, that's really refreshing to hear. I to, like, go back and, like, tell myself, like, you know, I remember drawing a picture when I was, like, probably, like, 10 of, like, what I was going to look like at 13, and, like, I had, like, a guitar and, like, a songwriting book and, like, really big boobs. <laughs> And I was like, once you turn 13, like, you're going to have it all figured out. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> I love her. Thank you. And, and I'm like, well, you got, you got most of them, you know? <laughs> you're not doing bad at all. No, so 10-year-old Kaylee would be pumped about the guitar and the songwriting book and yeah. the boobs. I think 10-year-old I think Kaylee would be pumped about everything. I just, you know, don't, don't tell yourself short. <laughs> um, where can fans find you? You can find me at KayleeShore.com and at KayleeShore on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, and it's K-A-L-I-E-S-H-O-R-R. Awesome. Well, you heard her, so check her out. And until next time, guys, we'll see you soon. And keep fighting like a girl. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in to our interview here at CRS 2018. Be sure to like us on social media, follow us, share us with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.